Hey everyone, and welcome back to BTEC. Cardano is being one of the most well-known cryptocurrencies around the world. It started the year 2021 at a mere $0.2 per token, and then skyrocketed to over $3 in September. Now ADA has been on a downward trend ever since. However, this is a crypto asset that is worth considering for any serious investor hoping to make returns in the long run, as the coin has a great long-term vision. Recently, the US House of Representatives voted to pass an infrastructure bill that contained a provision that shocked investors and the crypto world. Crypto had a big week in Washington, D.C., with financial regulators calling on Congress to regulate stablecoins. Now, when there are changes in the crypto space such as this government-level regulation, Cardano holders must pay attention and see how this may affect the coin. But what does this mean for Cardano? Will this affect the price of the ADA token? Will investors have to think about the way they approach crypto now. Today, we're going to be talking about what Joe Biden has said about crypto and how this may serve as a warning to the crypto world and Cardano. Stick around until the end of the video, as you're not going to want to miss out on how Joe Biden's words might impact the wider crypto community and more particularly for Cardano's ADA token. Before we start, if you like this type of content, why don't you hit the like button? Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any updates from the world of investing. Let's first start by taking a look at Cardano's recent performance and the movement of the general crypto market. The crypto market as a whole has been going down the past few days and weeks, and Cardano's ADA has been on a downward trend the past few weeks, currently hovering around the $1.25 mark still despite the price drop Cardano remains at the sixth largest coin in terms of market cap at the time of this recording. Cardano's ADA token has been in quite a bearish mood for over two months now. After its all-time high of $3.09 back in September in this fall, the price has lost almost half of its value. But with over 33 billion ADA tokens in circulation, it is clear that investors remain steadfast in holding their tokens for greater gains in the future. This is something definitely worth noting, as it shows that investors and Cardano holders believe in the long-term run for the crypto asset. While Cardano continues to trade bearishly, analysis is suggesting that the ADA price is also obtaining dynamic resistance and shows a decent recovery from the oversold territory. This means that Cardano's price could bounce back higher not too long from now. Still, it would be wise for Cardano holders to continue holding on and wait for a price break for a better long-term position. Now back to the topic. You, as President Joe Biden has recently approved a law for an infrastructure spending package which had in it a proposition to increase tax reporting requirements for crypto transactions. This was a change that was heavily opposed and criticized by the digital currency industry, which actually is a bipartisan group of senators that hope to amend this law. While there is some hope for positive change for the crypto world, the market is still likely to experience more struggles as Washington continues to debate and question how Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies should be taxed and regulated today. It's no surprise that more crackdowns and questions are being raised on this fast-growing and disrupting industry and market space. But any serious investors should keep an ear out for these changes. So, what exactly did this law change? Well, effective in 2023, cryptocurrency brokers such as Coinbase are going to be required to record transactions and track them for customers and the IRS. This is a similar manner in which stock and bond brokers currently do things. Crypto brokers will then have to report gross proceeds from sales and capital gains as well as losses. Not only that, but they will also have to disclose personal information of customers such as names, addresses, and even phone numbers. In addition, any business that receives payments worth $10,000 or more in crypto will have to report the identity of the sender to the government, similar to current anti-money laundering rules for cash transactions. The IRS is also requiring taxpayers to begin declaring any receipt sales or exchanges in form of virtual currencies more transparently. You might be wondering what might be the point in requiring individuals and businesses to disclose their information from the crypto space. Well, they are expecting that it should bring in more tax revenue. And according to the Joint Committee on Taxation, as much as over $28 billion US dollars over a decade, the law hopes to address concerns about crypto transactions not being taxed, simply because they could be happening outside the view of the IRS. 
It's not surprising that the US government is making the crypto space more complicated than it should be, as the US governments in the past made negative comment about crypto. This is something that could impact Cardano and other tokens, because it could potentially turn away new investors and current investors, due to the many requirements that are now being asked. Cardano may experience a delay and decrease in daily transactions across industries, simply because the government's new law is making it more difficult for brokers and crypto holders to hold and exchange digital currencies. Do you think that this law and everything it requires will turn off crypto investors and enthusiasts? How might it affect Cardano? We want to know your thoughts. Let us know down below in the comment section and before we continue. If you like this video so far, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any updates from the world of investing. All right, back to the video. Now crypto enthusiasts and advocates are arguing that there are a few controversial things about the new requirements. For example, the language defining what a crypto broker is, is far too broad and essentially impacts any entity that may provide a service effectuating the transfer of digital assets. They argue that this kind of language and writing could mean that crypto miners and software developers may be expected to disclose information that they don't even have access to. A Wyoming Republican, Senator Cynthia Loomis, has actually voiced out concerns that these new requirements could stifle and suppress innovation. The Senate Finance Committee Chairman and an Oregon Democrat Ron Wyden has offered a bill that would instead narrow the definition of what a crypto broker is significantly. This would clarify that developers of blockchain technology and other crypto wallet programs would not be required to report transactions to the IRS. Senator Ted Cruz, a Texan Republic, has suggested a bill that would essentially repeal the crypto section from the entire infrastructure law. The suggestions from these new standalone bills come after several unfortunate and unsuccessful attempts to change the legislation whilst it was still being debated in the Senate. These things aren't meant to be taken lightly, as it shows mixed feelings of the government about what is actually currently taking place. What exactly does all of this mean for the price of Cardano ADA? Well, if you look at it hours after Biden signed this new infrastructure bill into law, Cardano experienced a huge price drop after setting multiple all-time highs this year. We all know that the crypto space is highly volatile in nature and prone to unbelievable price swings by the week, day, and even hour. Experts are recommending crypto investors to keep to the relatively more established cryptocurrencies such as Cardano. Even if these well-known cryptos experience the crazy price wings, they are still a lot more stable and secure than smaller and lesser-known altcoins. Another thing to consider also is that because cryptocurrency is one of the newer asset classes, experts are suggesting that it's more susceptible to being influenced by almost anything, including a simple tweet by someone famous to new government regulations and crackdowns. For all the crypto investors looking to stay on the right side of this new law, there are two major things to keep in mind. One, give an accurate track record of what you originally paid for the crypto you currently own to reconcile what the exchanges are likely report to the IRS. And two, it might be really helpful to find a tax professional who is familiar with the crypto space to assist you with more accurately reporting what crypto assets and investments you have. While Cardano continues to hover around the 1.25 mark, the crypto asset also continues to be one of the strongest holding cryptocurrencies today. The Cardano community isn't wavering nor panic selling in spite of the price drop and new regulations that complicate exchanges and transactions. The cryptocurrency is still in its very early stages, and it's a really young market, which means there's huge room for growth in the years and decades to come. With governments looking to regulate it more, it just proves how much crypto is here to stay. How will this new law affect Cardano and the wider crypto space? Is now the best time to buy in and stock up on ADA tokens? Whilst the prices have dropped, some might be afraid of the price drops, but wise investors will consider this to be a great buying window. There are so many questions to be asked, and we want to know what your thoughts are. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.